up you guys, Marty Schwartz here. I'm gonna teach you a really cool funk riff. Papa Don't Take No Mess. Uh, James Brown's one of the originators of the funky soul vibe. Um, it's a really cool riff. It's a G, so you know, consider this part of your funk arsenal now when I teach you this little riff. Um, also, I just did a brand new uh, funk DVD, two hours long. All the you know fundamentals and my favorite chords and grooves and, and rhythm patterns and uh, you know it's also great for like blues and and uh, you know R and B kind of you know things you know it's all kind of comes from the same place so go ahead and click the link to the right check it out if you want and I'm gonna show you this cool groove right now I'm gonna zoom in and show you what I got going give me a second so I'm playing what could be considered the James Brown chord basically because it's used so much in his music and it's called a nine chord. This is a G9 chord, and so the root's on the A string, so it's going to be the 10th fret on the A string with my middle finger, and then index finger on the 9th fret of the D string, and then with my ring finger, shut your mouth, I bar it across the 10th fret, um, and I try and get the rest of the strings like this. There's a really cool thing about this lick, though, that's not just a 9 chord, but so basically what I do is I hit... And you, you don't let those ring out. It's not. It's. So with my left hand, I'm kind of relaxing and making it as staccato, as choppy as possible. Like that. So in funk, I, I relax the fingering of the chord a lot and then squeeze down when I want the sound. Like that. So that's easy enough if you can get the chord. Now this little piece that I'm going to show you next goes with... The, uh, with that G9 chord perfectly. So what I do from here is I get my index finger to the 8th fret of the B string, and then middle finger on the 9th fret of the G string. It's just a little cluster. There's two notes right there. And it's part of the key and the scale that this G kind of blues, G funk things in. So we got right there. So you got to be good at being able to mute the other strings or only hitting those two. And then with my ring finger I go, I add it to the B string on the 10th fret like this. So it's like. And I've developed uh, my playing over a, a you know long period of time where I can actually kind of strum the whole guitar and I'm just unconsciously, I'm, I am conscious right now, but unconsciously, um, you know, able to mute the rest of the strings while I'm strumming. And it's all with my left hand, you know, my pinky, my palm, like this kind of thing. I got my thumb wrapped over sometimes, my pinky's helping mute, my index finger's helping mute the high E there. But so here's the groove, we go. And it, it's hypnotic and it does that for a really long time. Like that. And then there's a bridge. And in James Brown music, a lot of the times you just vamp, meaning you stay on this one groove over and over and over. And then all of a sudden he says, you know, hit me or take me to the bridge. And it, it's real easy. It's just the nine chord over and over. And it's, you know, if the roots on the 10th fret here are the 10th fret ring, and you let this one ring out. 10. Eight, six, five, right into the groove again. So it's like ten, eight, six, five, groove. Thank you. 
And that was the groove, my friends. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself there. Just a quick little funky riff. If you want to uh, dig deeper into the funk stylings and just some of my favorite little funk devices, check out my funk DVD. We'll see you later.